Police emergency, where do you need police? Prior to 1996, the comms group was purely um, responsible to sworn police officers who took phone calls and were involved in the dispatch um, side of things. Back in 95, 96, there was a decision to civilianise those roles and saw the commencement of two training courses that year, which was then obviously the start of um, civilian radio operators and call takers within the Queensland Police Service. So we were kind of the brave pioneers that were paving the way. It was a very overwhelming spot, so I think we all felt the same and it, it bonded that group together. But um, to be part of that first group was, um, was a real privilege. Uh, I think we were surrounded by so many wonderful police officers and mentors that uh, they really made us feel welcome and we were full of enthusiasm. You know that you're answering the call to get someone the help that they need and that's the only thing that really matters. Knowing that we've assisted someone in a moment when they had no one else to turn to, that's really important. But also the team aspect of this role. You're not alone, you're not taking those calls on your own. You have the support around you and that's definitely really important. Every news bulletin starts with uh, 10 minutes of critical incidents across the state. The majority of those incidents start with a call to one of the triple uh, zero comms operators. So if you look at the fact that they talk to people and listen to people at their critical point when they are going through a stressful situation and they do an enormous, incredible job actually resolving a lot of those issues and ensuring that we then, as a police service, provide a response to it. So it is very demanding job that's created on a, a civilian call taker. They do an incredible role and they have a huge influence on how, on how an event may pan out over the course of um, that day and how that matter could be resolved.